Welcome to another video of Excel Academy. In this video, I am going to be telling you 20 legal terms you can use in any exam. See, origin of many of the legal terms is not in English. It is actually in Latin, French and Roman. So, we will be discussing the different 20 legal terms which are very easy and very common. I have selected these terms because also because they are very general in nature. So, using legal terms in exam improves the quality of your answer. So, you will get more marks and that is the reason why you should use legal terms for your answer to look standard and complete. So, that is why these are the 20 words which you can easily remember and we are going to be discussing that. So, in this video, I am going to be telling the 20 legal terms, the meaning for every term and how you can use it in the exam, in what kind of answer, how you can use it and which will help you to get more marks. So before that, subscribe to Excel Academy to become an expert student of company secretary course. Also tell your friends. So the first word is mens rea. So mens rea basically means guilty mind. So this phrase refers to one of the two requirements to prove somebody as guilty. So a guilty mind or a criminal responsibility. So when you write any answer, maybe it is CS executive or CS professional program, any law paper, this mens rea, it is very important. You can say something like, you can use it like, the director should have mens rea to be proven as guilty. So, he should have a guilty mind. He should have done it intentionally. So, this is the first legal term, mens rea. Next, let us go to ultra vires, beyond the powers. So, ultra vires means beyond the powers. In this legal term, you can use in many answers, which will help you make your answer look very complete and also very very professional so example is you can say anything which is beyond the moa is ultra wire so the objects clause of moa defines the object so anything the company does which is beyond the power in the moa you can say the company is doing the activities which is ultra wires means which is beyond the powers of moa so this is another very easy and common legal term you can use the opposite of that is the next word next legal term intra wires within the powers so you can say that company can do anything intra wires that is within the powers of the moa i am just telling you about moa but you can use this word intra wires for any answer which is related to the company secretary course papers the next word again very common which is used for cs executive cs professional company law economic and commercial laws advanced company law Secretarial audit, corporate restructuring, you can use it in any subject, audi, alterum, partum. So, this simply means opportunity of being heard. So, this legal term simply says that every person should be given an opportunity of being heard before we pronounce him as guilty or before we give a judgment against him. So, it is very important. So, you can write in the exam, every person should be given or the ultim partem that is opportunity of being heard before we decide against them so this may be civil case or criminal case whatever it is this is compulsory a very important principle of law a very important legal term the next word which we have to know is suomoto so suomoto again a very general legal term very easy to understand and very easy to write in any answer any subject suomoto is of its own motion own will so, you can use it in a sentence like court took action suomoto. That means nobody filed the case. Court himself, the court itself has taken the action. So, court can take cognizance suomoto. That means nobody has to file a case. So, that is one example where you can use this word suomoto. The next legal term is status quo. The state in which this was the meaning of status quo. The state in which. So, we have to understand the state of affairs that existed previously, we are continuing it to have, that means status quo. So, if there is any changes in the company, but the changes is exactly as before, you can say the position is status quo. That means the state of affairs that existed previously, it is same which we are continuing. So, you can use this word status quo in any answer which you require. Then is a common word. Many people think it is actually English word. It is derived from a foreign language word which is affidavit a formal statement of fact so if anybody wants to give even at the time of incorporation we say that affidavit should be given where they give a formal statement they state that yes i am so and so i am not having any case against me if you write all that that itself is affidavit you are affirming 
on behalf of yourself so that is the next legal term you can use next is ab initio from the beginning so contract is void ab initio we say so ab initio is from the beginning you can use this word ab initio in any answer which is relating to the company secretary course papers the next legal term is quasi quasi is resembling or being similar to something without actually being that thing so to give a simple example you can write in any paper for example nclt is a quasi judicial body quasi means it is like a judicial body it is like a court but it is not a real court so it is resembling or being similar to something without actually being that thing so nclt is a quasi judicial body the next legal term which you can use in any exam is pro bono pro bono is nothing but professional work done for free so for example you can use it in a sentence like the company secretary gave his services pro bono that he did it for free next is something which you can use again in any paper prima facie so this is a legal term which is very very important and very very easy for example we say prima facie evidence so a matter that appears to be sufficiently based in the evidence as to be considered true so prima facie is basically when you look at the case you feel okay this is the evidence so this is correct this is true so that we call it as prima facie example is prima facie evidence so you use such words in the exam your answer will look better and it will get more marks next word is locus standi locus standi is nothing but the right of a party to appear and be heard before a court so if you say that uh, the company does not have locus standi that means the company does not have the right to appear and be heard before the court or if you say shareholder does not have locus standi that means the shareholder does not have the right in that case to go before the court so in every case anybody cannot go and file the case you should first have locus standi so this is something which we should know very clearly the this is a simple word next we come to malafide malafide is nothing but bad faith bad faith so malafide intention so we can say that the director had malafide intention the company had malafide intention they cheated the shareholders something like that so you use the word malafide which you can use in any answer next word for a legal term is lispendence lispendence means pending case so we can say that cannot file a new case because of lispendence so if you write like this in exam that means there is a case which is pending and for that you are using lispendence you can even write the uh, foreign legal word and also the english meaning in the exam in bracket you will definitely get very good marks next uh, word is subjudis subjudis means refers to a matter currently being considered by the court so subjudis you may have heard many politicians use this word many people like vijay malya against whom the case is there they will use this word subjudis if you ask them some question they'll say i cannot comment because matter is subjudis that means the matter is currently being considered by the court it is not correct for me to talk till the court give the decision so for that we say subjudis so please use the word subjudis in any answer and these all these words which i'm telling are very general these 20 words are very general which you can use in any answer ex parte a decision without the other party being present so we call it as ex parte order so without the party being present suppose there is a case between ram and sham so for example the judge will give the judgment when sham is not present that means ex parte order without sham being present the decision is taken that is called as ex parte order next is consensus ad item so if you are cs foundation student and if you have passed foundation you know this very well in contract act we should have meeting of the minds consensus ad item means meeting of the minds so parties must be of one mind and their promises must relate to the same subject or object so that is consensus ad item another general word you can use vis major so vis major is act of god so suddenly in insurance we use this word a lot so vis major means the act of god and act of god is something which is not in our control so force major means it is basically the act of the parties or act of the human but vis major is act of god in fact there is a, a hindi movie oh my god where the whole movie is based on vis major that is paresh rawal and akshay kumar has acted that movie is about act of god that is vis major any natural calamity 
in toto in total so whenever you want to write the answer you can use this word in toto which is very very useful then the last word we have is de facto de facto is in fact or in reality so you can also use this word when it comes to any answer relating to company secretary course paper and these are the 20 words i encourage you to use at least in this 20 you don't remember all the 20 you watch the video again make notes at least five words you use in your exam in every paper write five legal terms your value of the answer will go high and people who correct will think that you are a very good law student so that was the video by excel academy and i hope you use these words in your exam all the best